friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. This little uh, snippet will probably make it into a future video somewhere along the way, and it'll just be a little snippet. But you think you have high action on your instrument? Look at there. You could throw a dog through there. <laughs> this thing's strung like a dobro. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the strings are more, I would say an eighth of an inch between there. Well, let's see. Here, here's a, here's a hundred and thirty thousandths, and I'll bet that don't touch. Actually, it does. Hundred and twenty thousandths doesn't quite go through there either. Okay, so I'm wrong. But now keep in mind, we're talking at the nut. <laughs> okay, a hundred thousandths. Just a hair tight. Yeah, a hundred thousandths is just a hair tight. So, at the first fret, ninety thousandths and eighty thousandths. Ninety thousandths on the bass side, eighty thousandths on the treble side. The lady said she bought this in Mexico quite a few years ago and has, hasn't touched it since. <laughs> she said, I took it to a guy that plays mandolin and he couldn't play it. <laughs> yeah. That height there is where you about the height you want at the twelfth fret on a guitar. <laughs> so <laughs> give you some idea. It's crazy. Just thought you'd get a kick out of that. Well, I thought I'd just go ahead and put a little note in here about what it sounds like after I change the setup. Now you can see that the setup is almost touching the first fret, and I lowered this down a ton also. And I mean literally a ton. I, I'm not sure you could haul it all in a pickup truck. Well, maybe. Anyway, this is what she sounds like. She's playable, good instrument to learn on, I guess, and practice with. Not a bad little made little instrument, other than the setup was just pathetic. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet. Thanks for watching.